Hey guys, so I'm here to say thank you once again. I know I've been saying thank you a lot, but that's because I'm just full of a lot of gratitude. Thank you guys for everything. You guys have changed my life for the better. And honestly, I am forever, ever grateful. You know, not only the Roomba Nation, but everyone who supported me, even the housemates, we had our ups and our downs. But thank you. You guys have changed my life for the better. And those memories and everything we went through, I will always hold dearly to my heart. So thank you. And I wish the best for all and every single one of us. Also, want to say thank you to everybody who came to the homecoming party, who streamed it, who helped to organize it, who spoke, who was there to celebrate me. You guys took time out of your day, time out of your busy schedules to come and celebrate me. And thank you so, so, so much. Me, I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy. And you guys came to celebrate me. So thank you so much. My life will never be the same. You guys have really, man. <laughs> changed my life for the better and i'm eternally grateful so thank you so much until next time remember you are enough peace hey babies what's up my darling mvps and how are you all doing welcome back to sale with mimi shosley mimi where you get the gist I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly post right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? Arsi de heart. I would like to take a moment to express my appreciation and love to everyone who joined us at the homecoming party and contributed to its success. The overwhelming love and support I have received from everyone is beyond what I can fathom and it has truly changed my life for the better. I am internally grateful and deeply humbled by this experience and by each person who has been a part of it. To my friends, family, speakers, former housemates, production, and the Roomba Nation community, thank you once more. From the depth of my heart, I eagerly look forward to the opportunity to reconnect with each of you in the future and to create more unforgettable memories together. So this is coming from Taki, you know, after the um, after a successful homecoming, you know. And he also said, now that the dust has settled a bit, I am so grateful for an epic homecoming. Thanks to Roomba Nation, friends and family for the love. Special shout out to Bibi Nzanzi and fellow housemates for life-changing experiences, chairs to cherished memories. So here is Taki, I'm sorry, I say Tati. Here is Taki. <laughs> um, he is actually coming back to say thank you to everybody who made his um, what was it called? His homecoming a memorable one. I think this homecoming was like last week. Here, yeah? it's been a week ago or thereabout, and he is just coming out to say he appreciates it. He's, he's just trying to take everything down. How much the love is, and here he is saying that he is super duper grateful to everyone who made it a success. All right, still talking about Taki. Nathan's have been coming for him. Over the new bond between MC Junior and Makeke, like if you notice something, you would notice that Makeke and MC Junior are kind of, you know, becoming a little bit close, you know, probably because of, you know, the house is getting smaller. Even before the house started getting smaller, they do, you know, chit chat once in a while, you know, but... People were like calling out on Taki that, see, your plan is to make uh, Mac Jr. be an enemy to Makeke. So now, see, now they are becoming friends. Shame on you. But now I have a question. Do you think Mac Jr. and um, Taki's friendship started because of enmity with Makeke? I do not think so. I think Mac Jr., um, Taki, Sinaye, those friendships happen because of the, you know, they have this connection between each other. I do not think it's because of maybe to create enemy or does that the enemy of my enemy is my friend, all those kind of things. Nah, 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 nah. You know, I don't know what you think, but this is what I think. Feel free as usual to tell me what you think. In the comment section, you know my own, I just give my perception and I ask about yours too. That is the way word goes round. We'll just take this from Bole, then we continue. 
When Ataki, you wanted Mac Jr. to inherit your beef with Makeke, look at them now. Hmm. So, you know, when I say I would try to bring proof so that you guys would see that this is what people were actually saying on the social street. To me, I do not buy this at all, you know. And of course, Mac Jr. would not say because of um, Makeke and um, Taki are actually having their beef and then he will now want to create beef. That is not even possible. How people really want beef to happen, seven now? Why? Anyways, talking about Mac Jr. and Makeke, hmm, these two has literally been the topic. But first off, let me read this from Jackson. The top two, our finalists, MC Jr. and Makeke. Guys, all of a sudden, it is not giving. Okay, currently we have seven housemates in that house, right? But at this point in time, it is giving its only Makeke and Mac Jr. that people focused on right now. You know, I have once discussed this with you guys where I said, oh, see, people are actually calling out on their top two. In fact, they started this thing long ago. And then someone, I remember someone said something in my comment section and be like, other people have actually built a fan base. That time, Liema was still in the house. They are like, oh, you will not expect this two to win when we have people like Liema and Z who has actually built their fan base. Now, this thing is becoming to look real as the last Sunday, Z appears on the bottom three. You know, the way this thing was going, people were actually seeing a lady win this thing. But at this point of the game, people are seeing a man winning the season. <laughs> hey, God. I said you can never predict this BB in Zanzi. One of the reasons I like in Zanzi. Now, here is the thing. It is just trending Makeke MC Junior. Makeke MC Junior. You know, they are not even talking about any other horsemeat. Like, the stakes are so high on Makeke and MC Junior. In fact, they are training them that they are going to be the top two this season. Guys, do you accept this notion? Or you think it's just a mere talk? Are you seeing this coming to come 31st of this month? Or what do you think? I would really love to hear from you. Or do you buy with the perspective that these two are the top two of this season? Let me know what you think in the comment section. It looks like congratulations are in order for Mac Jr. and Makeke. Remember when the season... Okay, remember when the season started, we all wanted a guy to win. Then Yolanda said, hold my beer. Boom, now it seems like a guy is winning this season. Now here is it though. Like I just told you guys, you know, as I did talk about this show. <laughs> so that it's not be like, Mimi Shosti Mimi, you brought this up. Mm -mm. So even if I did not show, you know that I just choose not to show. Mimi Shosti Mimi will only say what is going on on the social space. My own is to bring what is going on on the social space close to you, you know, to your doorstep. You get the point where we talk about it together. So guys, this is how it's been going on. In fact, anytime you see Mark Jr. and what's his name, Makeke's picture together, gisting, the only thing you see on the social space, our top two, our top two, our top two. I'm like, yo, like that, like that. Mimi never saw this one coming. I'm not going to lie to you. I never saw this one coming at all. Talking about never see it coming. I think some persons have actually taken it personal. As there has been a possibility of Makeke winning this season, you know. I'm not saying he's going to be the winner of the season. I said possibility of him winning this season you know and then people started coming you know trying to decampaign him so the ones they brought out this picture of his as you can see vivid you can see it very well on this picture how they actually you know brought this picture someone took his or her time to list the price of everything makeke was putting on here as you can see the price of the shirt, it says it's arrow one, 1,259 rounds. You see the price of the trouser, it says um, arrow 743 rounds. You see the price of the shoe, it says arrow 1,000, that is 1,008 rounds, guys. So they are like, please, nobody should tell us that um, this boy is poor anymore. Nobody should sell us that narrative. Anybody else uh, deserves to win, you know, because people are like, ha. Are we going to be here and I will feel that we've been rooting for back to back from the onset next thing we see no other name, you know, flying in Makeke's voice, flying, you're flying right now, <laughs> you know, because even I was surprised, you know, as you can see what this person said here, Jacqueline Han said, if I ever hear vote for Makeke, he is poor, see yas banner. I don't know what Siyak's banner me know, but what I'm trying to say is this person is saying nobody should even try and bring the poor narrative from Makeke. Now, my question is, if you're voting for Makeke, the reason why you're voting for him, is it because he is poor or because you love his personality in the house? Let me know in the comment section because people are carrying it out there that people are voting and rooting towards his direction because of he is poor. But Makeke never sold the poor narrative. 
this season. The only time he spoke about this thing was when he was having that argument with Papa Ghost. And then he said, if you know you have the money, leave us the hungry people to fight for it. He did not sell out whether an orphan story or whether he is poor story, you know, all those kind of story. I did not think, I did not think he did, he, sell, he sold um, those things out. But if you feel he did so, kindly let me know when. I really want to, you know, have an interactive section with you guys, especially the people who know what interactive is that is not being you know being abusive because me i'm not cutting for that so let me know what you think about this in the comment section all right let's continue coming from papa ghost handler since ghost has zero fans only his family is voting the ghost pops need contribution in preparation for the finale king siya mosha himself has played a game that will be won for the history books being himself was the game papa ghost the topic so guys um Actually, this is if you're a ghost fan, this is for you. It's not about yearning on or trying to come for people or insult people. Go and support your fave right now, at least, so that he would even be up there when it comes to the finale. We need all five of you to help us raise funds for the finale preparations. If you were on the space last night, you know just how many things we are working towards, and we need any amount to make sure we have successful finale. Papa goes the show now, right now, in as much as we know that only one person would win the season and there is one thing you should know as a fan is some fans most fans will not want their faith to leave first and i'm very sure the ghost fans will not also want their faith to leave first so what you have to do is go cooperate with the handler right now as a good fan no? except you're a fan that only trolls anyways i'm coming from yvonne's blonde wig you know what's funny fans keep foreseeing and saying that this is the best top seven if so explain this why has the show lost so many viewership? Why is the show not trending? Why is the baby in Zanzi not trending? Why does Lawrence keep asking for votes? Five marks. Remember my previous video I shared with you all I said? Um, I think I enjoyed this top seven. They are cool. That this is how top seven would definitely be. It cannot be more than this. You know, some people are expecting to have like, they were like, if you have Yolanda Liam are still in the house, there is no how the house will still be like this. If you have them together still in the house. I'm like, top seven will always be kind of boring. You understand because there are few but this person do not buy that idea i do not know if you do not also buy that idea because i did not get to see what you think in the comment section from the other video so let me know what you think talking about liema i really do miss this friendship <laughs> I really do miss Liema and Mac Jr. rants and bands. The way they talk, the way they do things, the way um sometimes it looks like they are living in denial. Like I mean, especially Mac Jr. I really miss that. But guys, I will soon be dropping my voice. But there is no how I'm gonna be dropping my voice without this picture. Like guys, yo, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like without this picture of Fahima, guys. Like this picture is so. <clears throat> We all know Fahima was one housemaid that her body was actually the topic, especially on Thursdays. days. Like, if baby girl wear her swimwear like this, yo, <laughs> she said, she got her, she full ground. Like, when I came across this picture, I'm like, no, there is no way Mimi is going to ignore this one because I am a lover of good thing and this picture is actually beautiful. So, in that note, I am ending my voice and I am dropping it right here as to the heart, okay? To see you guys later in the comment section, please let me know about what we all just discussed right here. Let's talk in the comment section. Let's operate. Tell me what you think about what I just said, alright? Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Of course, you all know you are my real MVPs. Bye for now, babies.